Straight out of Miami, Florida, 305. I'm up here in Hollywood right now, Broward County, right here in front of the Trump Towers doing my interview with the front porch. You know what I'm saying? We just out here getting it in and, you know what I'm saying? It's all beautiful, man. It's a beautiful day right here, you know? Anywho. Ready for me to go? Spit? Good. Yeah. All right. Well, this piece called Still Motion. Damn. Rose. That quick. This is the monumental movement of a still motion picture. Freelance photography and writing whatever you feel to be true propaganda. Take your time, take your time. Yeah. This is the monumental movement of a still motion picture. Freelance photography and writing whatever you feel to be true propaganda. Taking the relevance of life and turning it into laughter. As we witness realness lay in the grave, the next generation will grow up and say, real shit lies here after. All the reality TV and drama cycle bastards make their way to becoming husbands, and drama queens become real housewives of a broken home. And boy, life is never real when the camera's on. Reality took place when the producer screams, cut, what the fuck? This is the monumental movement of a still motion picture. Freelance photography and writing whatever you feel to be true propaganda. Taking the relevance of life and turning it into profit. Cause the almighty dollar is mightier than the being that created the being that created the very thing we all work hard for. Some lose our lives for, but we all still lust for. Cause engraved on every pieces in God we trust. But motherfuckers feel being broke long before they feel the almighty G-O-D. We all feel the G-O-D, excuse me. I mean the D-O-G, dollars over God. And you wonder why we say life's hard. It's hard cause your credit score gotta be top notch just to obtain a decent job. It's no wonder we sell those run schemes and rob. For every penny you earn in an unjust manner. Part of my mannerisms, but I'm angry my blood is fast boiling hot. Watch this. My name is King Gabriel, I'm a spoken word artist, slash poet, slash rapper, straight out of Miami, D County 305. Um, basically, I'm just here to speak my mind and my heart. Where does your motivation for your stories come from? Well, basically from reality, everything dealing with, you know, poverty and, you know, the streets, you know, everything we go through on a regular basis, you know, I, I mean, I'd rather do it than spoken word because, you know, rappers, they do it, but... I like the detail that we use with spoken word, for real. The first time um, you did spoken word publicly, man, how did it make you feel? Oh, uh, man, when I did it the first time, I was nervous, man. I, like, I cracked on stage, actually. But, you know, it got better with time, and, you know, now it's like, it's like out of me, man. I got to have it, you know? If, um, if you had to do anything else in the world and it couldn't be spoken word, what would it be? Probably would design clothes if I could do anything other than spoken word, you know? That's what's up. Is there any person, uh, family member, or friend that, uh, that 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 keeps you inspired to keep going? And why is that? My daughters. I got three beautiful girls, man. And, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, they my motivation. They my, they, they the ones who I look forward to giving a future to. So I keep going. How can people contact you, you know, to definitely try to book you or do what you have to do? Um, you can hit me up on Facebook under Era Stanley. You can hit me up on Twitter under King Era 305. You can also hit me up through my manager, Miss Pierre, which is Free Spirit Management, you know what I'm saying? Um, definitely hit her up on Facebook under Parley Pierre. Or you can hit her up on Twitter under um, Love underscore Mistress. Yeah, that's, that's how you hit me. And last question before we actually go into one of your live performances. If somebody comes to Miami, you know, they want some real Miami food, you know, what should they go to to get, to get a girl to eat at? Man, like, honestly, um, we got Chef Prio. Everybody know about that. Um, well, else, where else can you slide to to get, get some real, like, soul food? Soul food, man. You definitely got to definitely gotta slide over to, man, what's the place, man? <laughs> Yo. What is the place? Where is it? Carly, help me. Which one? What's the place? What place? Damn, I'm trying to think. What place? Oh. Definitely go to Jackson's Soul Food over at Overtown off 8th Street. You know what I'm saying? Definitely hit them up. Jackson's King Era. Right with Soul King Era. Let us know about, you know, your tattoos and the Bob Marley piece, man. Like, what does what all, all that mean to you? Man, my tattoos, I drew them all myself. And you know what I'm saying? Like, everything means, son. It's a symbol, Egyptian, ancient Kemetic symbols. You know, King Osiris sitting on his throne. Got Cleopatra right here. Excuse me, Nefertiti. You know what I'm saying? This is my own personal logo that I drew myself. You know, it's ecliptic era. That's the clothing line. You feel me? Um, this is my son. Birthday, death date. You know what I mean? It's 
a whole bunch going on, man. Godhead, most high, you know. Chick, number one info, you already know what it is. <laughs> you feel me? Virgo all day, September 11, 9 11. Uh, yeah, well, I'm mighty peace. I love this piece. I haven't seen anybody with it yet, you know? So, it's all original. I got it right there off the Jamaican shop off, uh, I believe that's Miramar Parkway at 441. <laughs>